Scorpio, does your desk look like a big mess? Like you got papers stacked everywhere because you got production. You got this file of paper. You got to do payroll over here. You got tax forms over here. You got meetings over here. You got cliff notes over here. You got a whole bunch of stuff going on. This is what this looks like to me. Guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Eccentric Rockstar Seed and I have messages today. Keep in mind, take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So in solitude, you have a bright destiny. It became a butterfly. Just when the caterpillar thought the world was over. Just when you thought it wasn't a hit. Just when someone thought, you know what? Just when you thought you had to write that person off. Just when you thought. There's a lot of what I'm feeling. Just when you thought. Like when I look at these cards this way. You got, do you love me? I lost everything. So now somebody's completely vulnerable because you may love someone, but you're in the, the algorithm of, I'm going to take that love and make it all about production. So this person could feel like you're a little cold right now, but it's all about production. You don't want anybody clinging to your energy and you're not clinging to anything except, you know, how do I want to say it? It's not like forcing it. But you're going to do it. You're going to bust your ass and do it. Something like that. Put that right there. Just leave it like that. Don't leave it like that. Don't leave it like that. There. That'll be fine. I've been over here writing my notes. Your overall energy. You have the public defender. I see a match though. Or you might be an attorney. Or you might start going out with an attorney. Because you have, in this deck, the overall energy is the queen of wands. She's a public defender. That could be like a lawyer or an attorney. But in this deck, this is a lawyer. The history about Dr. Buzzer was, he's a lawyer. You know, he would get slaves off from, he would stop them from getting the death penalty or something like that with this person. But this is, an, this is, this is the justice card in this deck. Okay, so something is absolutely, you could be an entertainment lawyer, okay? Because you got underneath Dr. Buzzer, you got Auntie Caroline. You know, that the cameras aren't, she's, this is people taking pictures of her. News reporters taking pictures of her outside of her home. So go we'll see. And then under here, yeah, you got Six of Pentacles, success. This next thing, this next person, this next thing, and it don't have to be a loving relationship. This is a business relationship, I feel like. This is a good friendship, but it's a biz. It's going to be, y'all are good with business. I'm very, like, excited right now. I don't know where that came from, but Six of Pentacles is success. You see how they're shining his shoes? This is a hit. So you're holding out on love. You're holding out on showing someone affection in one dynamic. And you're friends with somebody else in a different dynamic. But it works. It's a match. It's a vibrational match with the two public defenders. Success. Woo! Okay. So you have a bright destiny in front of you. Love is everything. Priority of purpose. Let me see something real quick. Priority of purpose. I also see you, you call you call back your power. Cut the cord, soul, retrie soul retrieval. You're blocking someone. That's just the truth. Sisterhood of Rose, beauty, devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. Someone match you spiritually. So you you got you you kind of got a reality check. I'm not gonna lie. With the crumbling, what are you clinging to? This is like my tower card. Sudden realization. Well, you realize you don't need to hold on to anything because what's yours is yours. What's not is not. Unbound. Release soul patterns. Contracts. Something about your shoulders are lighter. Light like feathers. I saw. I use my feathers a lot, but some, something about your shoulders. Some, once you realize something, it's all in what you think. You change your mind, you change your life, as they say. Something about the way that you think, star seed, what lights you up. If you trust your path, you know, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Warrior woman. That's right. Have you answered your deepest calling? You know, you birth in a new age, birth in new creations, dreaming a new world into being. If I take that love and make something productive with it, it's a hit. Share your voice. Come out of the cave, persecution, expression. So you're saying no to somebody and you're taking the initiation to go to go to go, go in a different direction. So it may sound a little fresh if it's a girl who's in love with a man or a man who's in love with a woman. I'm not trying to tell you to play the person you're in love with. But if you want that person, you got to make you got to answer the call. 
transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. You've been training for this for many lifetimes, okay? For this lifetime too. And it's coming to fruition this lifetime. Devotion. Tune into the inner portal of your heart. Deep down inside, you're really in love with that person because of what they represent. So you're not going with like, it's not, if it's like a, a, a deep soulmate or high level soulmate when twin flame dynamic, it sounds cliche because you hear a lot of people say, leave, leave, leave. If you want the twin flame to come back, you got to leave them alone. Well, in this case, it's true. If you want to, if you want the twin flame person, you got to leave them alone and go with the high level soulmate. The high level soulmate is where the success is. Okay. It, it keeps your algorithm up. They have a purpose. There's a purpose in what you're about to do next. There's a purpose in you crossing this person's path. There's going to be an important meeting when I see these public defenders and I see these, these cameras, okay? You're making waves. There's something about you and this person together is going to make people tune in, okay? It's good. It's good. Wait till you, when you have a conversation with this person, you're going to learn something. It's something pivotal in that conversation, let me say a prayer because I'm dead to hell serious about this, okay? Our Reb, we sincerely believe in you. Please forgive our sins and save us from the hellfire. Sword number three, I have 16. Have mercy on us. You know, we have wronged our souls. If you do not forgive us and have mercy on us, we shall be certainly of the losers. Okay, that's coming. That's now. Whatever you, what you ask God for to protect you, that's now. And he's doing it. What I'm feeling very strongly is... Just do it with the assassin, with the assassin card, ruthless conviction. You need to have some conviction, okay? And just do it. Like, don't think about it because you'll doubt it and you'll slow down progress. The puppeteer, explanation and apologies. If you slow down and double think it, this person can easily come back in. I'm not telling you to play the person you love the most, but do it. Do this. The spy master. Distrust. Somebody did something to, to violate your trust. And that might have been a tw the, the twin flamey person, whatever. Okay? That's Distrust. The priest. Wait a minute, brother. The priest. Perseverance. Faith. You know how I always talk about Malcolm X? You don't have to be African or Indian. This applies. Take the message as it applies. The priest. Perseverance. Faith. You're on a public platform, something that you can stand in front of the people and start teaching something. Bright destiny, priority of purpose. Okay, something about you being a dreamer, but you're also meant to be a doer. You're not just going to dream it. It's the right time to cast off some of those demands, you know, on your time and your attention. And that, and it's, it's something about the demands keeping you from pursuing your true purpose. So you may feel like because you believe you just have a knowing of what this, this twin soul thing is. And, you know, sometimes people come together in that twin soul journey as a passion for business. You dig? And I was saying it's igniting your passion for business. But what this person is teaching you is to get the demands off of you so you can pursue your business. All that I love is more important to me than all that I fear. My genuine desire clears the path for me to step into my purpose. You know, I seek out happy people who inspire me to be great. This is the vibrational match I'm talking about. I'm going to keep saying it. This is the vibrational match I'm talking about. Something I'm so, I feel like I just took a bunch of caffeine right now because it's like, <laughs> it's safer to ask for, for help. Something about a, something, you got a sudden realization. Baby, can you play a little bit more quiet? It's something, you got a sudden realization. It's safe to ask for help. People want to support me. That's going to be important. You're going to have a pivotal conversation and something about that conversation is going to stick out to you where you and you and this person is going to be like, ding, it's like a light bulb. Why didn't we do this sooner? It's a hit, a good hit, success. It's going to push you up everything you're asking for. You have the two of wands and the fool's journey. You're, and, oh shit, the empress is right under here. Okay. The burdens is over. Okay. You're going to have a clear, you're going to make a clear conscious decision. Okay. The emperor, the two of swords was in between the empress and the emperor. Dig. What's underneath the emperor is the king of swords and the chariot. The ten of swords and the two of cups. So something is devastatingly ending for an emotional fulfillment. 
okay something the way you're going about things is like this is the ten of cups is like a far that's a yes in a way with the ten of cups emotional fulfillment but you're going to feel guilty some about you feeling guilty for doing this you don't have to you know you got the seven of swords instead of you you may be accused of being sneaky about it but what you're really doing is being strategic and witty and someone's going to have regrets because they're going to feel like something was you took what was mine somebody feels like somebody took what was theirs but this is you taking action and then being like attracting it is this bringing your energy up in a way where now you 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 went out there and took accountability for yourself now you can be receptive create the shit and just go out there and just get it get it done full card you're taking a journey i'm taking a leap of faith i'm you're not taking a leap of faith i'm taking a leap of faith with this empress and this full card i'm taking it no confusion this you ain't got to think on this one this is common sense drop the burdens the way you're doing it it's just all just drop it you just you need that leg up okay with that emperor and the king of swords like this is all your knowledge and your babies that you had already created and put the seeds in the ground now you gotta put the you have a a, a clear space you created a space to get it done and it's pushing forward with the with the chariot see god is pushing you forward Okay, with the two of swords. I'm sorry, two of wands. I stand correct. Two of wands. The broadening your horizon. You see it now. Even then you eat, but what I like about your energy is even when you didn't see it, you still was doing it with that empress and that two of swords between the empress and the emperor. Okay, it was no confusion. A lot of things happened during your journey that tried to be a confusion for you, but you do, ma you have master, you're an expert. On how you handle your thoughts and your emotions on a daily basis as a successful entrepreneur. This is show, it wasn't about proving it. The test was not about showing that you can do it. The test was to show people who you are, was to let people know. It was a trial and error. It was a trial for other people. You're the expert. They see that now. Stepping into your power boldly, owning your topic, showing how you can help, position yourself as the expert in your niche. And then there's balance. You have balance. Manifest amazing business results by staying in balance. This is a friendship. So you're leaving off of the romantic side of things and focusing. You want to be productive in that way. You want to do more business. You want to show more business-wise. That is important to you. That's everything to you. You know how I know that? Because it's everything to me. Work hard. But take breaks to get back into ease and flow. Feel the joy as you work. You're re this also taught you. You, it's not the destination. You got to enjoy the experience. All of the, like something strategic and mysterious, how God works in mysterious ways. All the little things and big things that happen to you along the way of this process. Even though it's not so much of it, you're, you're cutting cords, you're learning things, but it was the emotion in it. It was the emotional connection to it. With the, That's what I get with that 10 of cups. You don't need to hold on to anything if you even if you believe it to be something important you got three tens here ten of wands ten of swords and ten of cups you see what i'm saying i want to say like a billion things right now but it's trying to come out at the same time so if i'm talking too damn fast don't mind me because with that ten of wands it's like you can drop drop it the way you're going to work smarter not harder the ten of wands put the burdens down okay you don't have to be by yourself this is your friend you got a best friend coming in with the two of cups ten of swords painful endings i think it it pained you might have thought it pained you this gives me fear of how the ending is the agony of pain like death it's and how it scares people people are afraid of that process and it's a natural part of life like being born that's a painful process too if you think about it that's not easy to push somebody into this world. But you also have to realize that the person coming through the birthing canal feels all that intensity just like the mother do. So both the mother and the baby is... Why do you think babies sleep when they first come in? They're exhausted. That was a big-ass transition for them as well as the mother. You know what I mean? And the Ten of Cups, but it's all worth it with the Ten of Cups. So using that, using that analogy... With the Empress, seeing that with the Empress and the Emperor card was in, what was that? Two of the way these cards came out. 
Where's that two of swords? It was in between the empress and the emperor. You were you were in two minds about should I hold on to this? Am I supposed to be patient about this? Well, yes, because there are hidden gems that came out of that too. Now, the way you're going about it is burning some. You want to drop that. See how you're in two minds about this. And I feel like this is business. Being in two minds about being in love with someone. Even you, with all your smarts as coming up as mature energy, king of swords, empress, emperor, these major arcanas, the fool, the two of cups, the chariot is here. Seeing how smart you are, you're still just a girl in love. You're still just a man in love. You still just want to be loved by your person. You, you just, you're still a child at heart is what it feels like. And it's like, I don't want to be one of those stiff. Somebody has a, a concern in two minds. It's like, it's conformant to be stiff and just be all production and no play. Well, that's very true. You dig what I'm saying? But this is also yin-yang energy with the Empress and the Emperor card. And you're in two minds about it. It's like, you got to realize what it takes to solidify what, a, what it is that you're doing with this totem of earth. You know what I mean? That's grounding. You you do have to, you know, make sacrifices and ground yourself with for ultimate material gain. You want to be the king that ever, the best that ever did this. You have an opportunity and you can't fuck it up with the muse of eloquent, with all your smarts. You still, you still just want to be playful and child. And that was the emotional connection as you get to know yourself at a deeper velocity. So you spend, you was doing some shadow work. And before, as I was saying that the queen of shadows is right there. Okay. Like you do have talent. You have a lot of talent, magical child. You always knew, you know. You had it like that. You were the cat's meow with the cosmic prince. But it did amuse people to make you feel humiliated about it. People were trying their damnness to make you doubt yourself. To be in that two of swords energy with that psychic portal. They wanted to send stuff your way. They did send stuff your way. If you all, if you, a triple threat like that. Beauty, brains, bronze. I see a lot of beauty, brains, bronze. Wild woman, wild at heart. Plant your seeds as they, they come into fruition, like material gain. Someone buys very expensive perfume. Ella, muse of eloquence. Eloquent speech. You see that thing on her head? That's a wordsmith. It's like, a, like she has the book in her hand and then she has all the words in her head. Like this is a intellectual person. So you have to be stimulating on an intellectual level to even get to you. It's more than just talent. You know what you're doing. You have a lot of knowledge about what it is, what your expertise is. With the emperor and the empress, like what's triple threatening about this, the way these cards played out is you're, you showing up as everything. So it wasn't a vibrational match. Being in two minds about it is like you didn't judge your person for not being at your level, whether it be spiritual um, mental, emotional. It's like a lot of things you already established in, but you already got that talent, but we all live this thing called life. So you go through things like everybody else and you still have to be able to push forward. That don't mean just because you're smart, you know how to push forward. You can be smart and use it for craziness or use it for stagnancy or use it for evil. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot of smart people that do dumb shit every day, but they're very fucking smart. Like, Computer hackers, you know how smart you got to be to do all that shit. They just use it for dumb. You dig what I'm saying? They're using their smarts for dumb. And they don't even be in a country half the time. You could be in one country, they could be in a whole other continent and they're doing all this stuff. They just hack computers all day and they get by like that for so long because they're smart. King of swords, you know, queen, of, like uh, the empress, I said queen of empress. Queen of creating, like you're the, you know how to create some shit. You do with the two of cups and you know how to immerse yourself in it. You fall in love with it. And then you know how to take action and make it, bring it off the ground. 
So you have all these things going for you. It's like, well, you will make somebody feel like a charity case. I feel that. You can have a tendency of making somebody feel like, well, what the fuck do I bring to the table? If you're doing all this extra shit, like Miss, Mr. or Mrs. Perfect, you dig? It's like, but being friends with you is a value. Is what is heavy emphasis on that. And you value your friendships too with the Ten of Cups and a Fool card. Like, you'll give anybody a fair chance. So sometimes it looks like a misfit. Like, why is he with her? Why is she with him? Not knowing that y'all spiritually connected. You'll be the one who have 700 subscribers in four months on a platform. 700,000 subscribers is what I meant. And y'all two working behind the scenes together. Somebody's the face of the business and somebody works behind the scenes on the business and you could qualify, you can come from anywhere. But suddenly, six months later, you know, you getting all this accolades. You know what I'm saying? You hire, hire help. Appreciation, practice gratitude as a part of your daily ritual. You know, if you're feeling overwhelmed with a never ending to do list, outsource your mundane business tasks to a virtual assistant. Get support. That's what this is. That's what you and this person is. And you're, and that energy is there. And both of you feel like it's something there. If I can just create an opportunity, I know it's something there. We are going to be huge together. It's like the people who put Google, the man who put Google together and all the behind the scenes shit they go with keeping Google up. Y'all smart like that together. Somebody's a Libra and somebody has fire. Somebody's a, if you're not a fire sign or a Libra, you have, it play, you have those placements. But that's a balance anyway. Fire and air. Somebody's got the passion and gusto. Somebody's that, that, that personality, that it factor, you know, you could, this is the will of fortune in this deck. Auntie Carolyn, how she's taking pictures, she's stage ready. You dig what I'm saying? That's somebody who's, who's easy to look at. So that's the face of the business. And this is the, the computer geek who's not a hacker, but he's behind the scenes, keeping it up and running for you. It's like a missing piece to the puzzle. So you've decluttered your space by cutting back calling back your power so you can work living life does not mean you should be immersed in drama all the time and when i see the sisterhood of rose the beauty and devotion you see how there's people there priestess mystic teachers like you just need space so you can do it don't let people cling to you is what i get from this unbound release soul patterns contracts and past lives you're freeing some people so they could do their healing so that could be the twin soul that i'm talking about you're freeing your person by by energetically moving away. It's your if it's your soul twin thing. What they say about the twin souls, you are that your twin is you. Who is my twin flame? Your twin flame is you. So who that person is, you're freeing that person by not clinging to this in this connection, by not clinging to yourself in a way where you don't want to. You don't. It could be a mirroring thing where you're not sharing yourself with the world at the velocity that you should. Okay, stop pl stop pussyfooting with the opportunity. Go do something with the shit. Like, really, go put the fucking gusto in it. Like, your production, you know, it, it speaks volumes. You dig? Like, your production is count. Your count is counting on it. Your your passion. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's your. I feel like I'm mumbling, jumbling it up. Your production counts on it. So if you free your person or free yourself, you free your person. You freed yourself. Either way you look at it, you freed yourself. Releasing soul patterns, bad habits, contracts, past lives. Like y'all, it took a couple times for y'all to get it right. You see that? Like you freeing it. You freeing yourself. What are you clinging to? This crumbling foundation is stupid when you know what you're supposed to be doing. God sent you somebody who's an angel. You know how you know? Because he's 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 pure. He's clean. Clean in a way that's pure, like how they describe the angel Jabril when he came down. He's a man in a white garment that's clean of dirt. He's clean. You know, his spirit, his aura, you can tell. You dig that? That that person would be beneficial. So if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So the person that's clean and I'm describing like the angel Jabril is not the twin. You're freeing yourself. You're freeing yourself and you've answered your deeper calling. So that's a boundary put up. Like just because we're X, Y, Z, just because you're you and I'm me and I'm you does not mean I'm not supposed to let you go. I'm not supposed to release you. And someone could have been manipulating it, but you could have been coming off as a manipulator. 
emotional manipulator, a mental manipulator, a spiritual manipulator. You don't want to do that. So you released it. You released this soul pattern. You released the need to be right. You released the need to be the powerful person in that connection where you can be powerful in hindsight. You don't need to fuck around about this. Don't play with it. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're actually get it. You get it. You understand the assignment. You're not here to play. It's not playtime. Okay. You understand that now. It's time to declutter and, and practice gratitude. Like at least you know who you are. That come you have to have gratitude. Okay. And that's feeling a deep appreciation for your blessings and manifest more of abundance and joy. Never forget who your real friends are. I said that in a previous reading. Your friend is the most high. Okay. Keep your horizon broad. Don't narrow in on this person just because you reckon you just have a knowing. You never feel tumultuous energy with this person. You have an inner peace and in knowing that is you. But you but you're smart. With the King of Swords, you're smart. You only deal with the facts. The fact of the matter is, I'm supposed to be doing something else. So if you're feeling overwhelmed with a never ending to do list, because you're the one with all the stuff right now, it's given to you on purpose. You were the one working at it a little more than the other person. You have to leave off that other person or that other thing so that you can have the right kind of help. So basically, you shouldn't do it alone in a way. It's telling you you're not alone. The success is going to come when you let it in with the Six of Pentacles. That's reciprocity. I know what I'm feeling. I know what I'm talking about. Someone wants to know, do you love them? They feel like they lost everything. They also feel like they're embarrassed by you. You embarrass me. And somebody is like resisting it. Like, no, I did see the Four of Pentacles in there. I see it. Someone's possessive of you. and But they're trying to juggle you and this and that and this. They didn't want to like answer the call. Okay. But they were running with enemies. So they would have ran up on you. But you knew that. You have a knowing, okay? You have a premonition. You have a gift. You're supposed to be using it responsibly, not on that other person. Not it, You may not come off that way, but it comes off that way. You may not mean it that way, but it comes off that way. You're not supposed to keep it to yourself. You're supposed to be on a platform. So what you, what you did was somebody, one of y'all got a reading. You would have never expected the other person because they're more practical and you're more spiritual and methodical. So you wouldn't expect this person to get a reading. But because they met you, they're interested in you in that way. Like It's a familiar, it's a knowing. Like I know this person, but they, the way they come off is a little different from how I would typically do things. They got a reading on you. And that's how they know. Everything I'm telling you is a confirmation about what you already know anyway. You know you're supposed to be in production doing something productive production of what whatever it is that you do everything that you do and they got a reading so that's how they know they even saw it in a dream state and they go to six of pentacles again you can't hustle each other and they go the temperance double-headed doctor you are, it's like, you. what you got going for you, you're so smart. This a double-headed doctor means he can play nice or he can play how you want to play, how you want to do this. He'll match you in whatever you want to do. You being susceptible like that with that fluidity, with that, that, that Sagittarius energy, that balance of yin-yang, you can have that potential of being good at being bad or good at being good. And yeah, and someone had someone has dreams about this a lot. Okay, with the strength and integrity, you're gonna end up practicing that integrity. You're, gonna, you're not gonna be vile about this. You realize it could be the angel. The angel could have come to you in the form of a dream, or God spoke to you in the form of a dream, or sent an angel to you to send the message in the form, and it could have came in the form of a dream. That's the judgment card. So you have discernment now. It's like I can't mess this up. Okay, you're, you're, you're learning something. Someone's learning something more about you on a deeper level. Like, this ain't all petty, witchy-poo. Like, that's not this person. 
So uh, you hit that this person has the that inner knowing that they have to disconnect you from that witchy poo stuff. But by then, when they by the time they're ready to tell you, I get it now. That what what they don't understand now is that you have already manned up and took accountability and and what the what the assignment is supposed to and tell you to do. Observation, page of swords, contracts. This is new contracts. This is you researching what you need to do with, with your hiring help. You got research. You got help. You're researching what 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 ask what 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 resources I need to use to have this. You gotta establish this first before you do anything else. Everybody gets frustrated with that part, like I'm nowhere. That attitude has to cease and desist so you can have what you're supposed to have or at least tap into your abundance that's in you. And it'll naturally come. It's not like you have to do all this slave work. You just have to tap into your inner star player so you can have what you need. And you already know how to do it. And you already got the heart to do it with the, with the savage. And the muse of eloquence, like you sat there and study all this stuff and you just, you can't waste, and let it fall by the wayside. You dig? Like you, you got a, like a leg up. It's already like a built in motherboard or computer system for you. What they call that, that, that computer board they put in the car is TCIM, the motherboard of the computer. Nowadays, cars are nothing but a computer chip and cheap plastic. So if you get into an accident, that's why the cars be balled up the way they are. They're not made of metal like they used to be, but it's a big ass computer shit. That's the value and why you're paying so much money for a car that easily falls up on the side of the road should you get into an accident. And it's very interesting I use that analogy because my son just put a little toy car here. But you get it. You get, you get what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's, you know better. You're smart. So what the fuck you waiting for? Just do it. Just like the assassin. Have some conviction. Just do it. You know, puppeteer explanation and apologies. Like you ain't about to let nobody play puppet master with you, but you also don't conduct yourself that way neither. You can't conduct yourself like that. You can't be doing all that. You're on a platform, Shabazz. Okay? The runway. Secrets running from problems. Let me get more information. The runway. Secrets running from problems. Why are you running from problems? Relationships. The poet, vulnerabilities, relationships. You know, if you say the right words to your person, they'll, they'll pull you back in. You could pull them back in. And that could have been the entrapment that y'all were doing that to each other. With that cage bird, you're setting yourself free. Because that person could do the same. If that's you, they could do the same thing to you. One of y'all lacked a lot of empathy and you're teaching them something by cutting them cords. They lacked empathy on because they took for granted because you, you of all people, you can handle it. You'll be fine. Okay. No conviction. Meanwhile, you practicing all the conviction. Playing puppet master. Someone was a master manipulator with the spy master knowledge, distrust. Someone didn't trust his journey. Okay. But you're the expert. And something else that you're talented in. And that's creating a balance. Regardless of what they didn't trust about this journey, you manifest amazing business by staying in balance. How are you going to do that? You cut them off. Told you. Look at this. The costume designer. Okay? With the Wheel of Fortune. And the Empress. I want to wear your expensive ass perfume or your expensive ass ball gowns, whatever it is that you do. Okay. That wheel is turning. It's going to turn when you take it serious. Stop playing with it. You see what I'm saying? You wouldn't play with, with infancy, with a baby. You'll treat that with care. That baby is whatever it is that you can do right now. And that's justice. Here we go. This was the two of swords operating in two minds. You see the justice card here? Is like the good cop, bad cop routine. You see that with the dual headed doctor? Like I said, the dual headed doctor, where is he at? Where did you go? Give it to me. 
Hold on, hold on. Where did you go? This. This gives me that vibe. Life happens. So sometimes you end up on the wrong side of the fence. Sometimes, you know, it's a balance of good and bad. But this is also a realization that you're practicing perfection, but it does not make you perfect. There's a, there's a shaitan in all of us. So we all have that ability to be good and bad. So that's giving you a lighter shoulder, a lighter load. You're dropping the burdens of feeling like you could have been hard on yourself with the mistakes that you made in life. So all this, this, this meditate with meditate and contemplate. Okay. That energy was gaining momentum for a while. Take time to breathe out. You need to take a second to yourself because I feel like you're being overly judgmental with who you are and versus what you've done action wise. Like, I can't believe I did that shit. I can't believe I came off that way. I mean, I feel like I messed up my opportunity. See, you're a rock star. You And I feel like you oppressed yourself in a way and you were going down a, a, the wrong path. That was the path of destruction. When you are called to be more gentle with yourself. Again, with the uh, example of children. How you interact with children should be gentle. That's how you need to be with yourself. And you're, you're in that therapeutic state now where you're beginning to be more gentle with yourself. It's not like you're not bullshitting with it. Like, okay, I'm going to take a break today. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Freaking four months later. Okay, I'm going to take a break today. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Oppressing yourself. It's not cool. I'm going to take a break today. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Meanwhile, you're racking up too many deeds that you ain't, you ain't going to have tomorrow. When tomorrow's not guaranteed, you're racking up too many deeds. And tomorrow's not guaranteed, you may not be able to answer for it. Okay. I'm going to take a break today. I'm going to do it tomorrow. No, you're not. You're going to do it now. That sudden realization is God's mercy coming in. He's coming in. Because the author of confusion is always the third party. It's always the third party. And there was an imbalance of your masculine feminine energy. And that's obvious. He wants to throw you off and cause confusion. Make you feel like you're supposed to be doing this. You this way. Like you're being pulled in too many different directions. So that was a mercy. I feel like what you saw in a dream state with the, the seven of cups. I, I just saw the seven of cups somewhere. That's what made me say that. Okay, the dream state is the angels coming to tell you, don't forget who your real friends are. Before you even, like the worst of it is over. At least the worst of it is over. You still have me. Facts. Put, you still can get up and move forward with what you set out to do. Facts. Put the burden down that I'm disappointed in you or I don't see you as value. Like you're imperfect. That's a lie. Facts. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. So now you feel that 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 emotional support with the Ten of Cups, wherever I just had it. Your real friends is you and the Most High first. So now you have you're starting to operate from a, a wiser space. You're taking accountability and why you was even moving around like that with the Seven of Swords. You was, you was kind of like being too, you was being mean to yourself. Okay. Now you're strategic and you're witty. It came to you in a dream so that you don't have to repeat it. Never repeat your dreams. Okay. With the king of, with the king of swords, you know, you know better. And that was your friend. And he came to talk to you in the dream state. Cause that's private. That's a private conversation. You see the water, you see they in depth down there underwater. That's beneath the surface. The devil can't read your thoughts. So he took you out of two minds to let you know that what you planted will come into, you know, you're going you're gonna to get it. You're going to do it. Now you're taking action with a different mindset. Change your mind, change your life. Because that was to keep you stuck. I'm going to do it today. I'm going to take a break today. I'm going to do it tomorrow. You heard me say that in a couple readings now. That, that, that's why. So when you're ready, okay, you got the right help. The help is here. You call it, I've come. So what I'm getting is someone hit a rock bottom. 
They're working and working and working and working on their craft and they hit a rock bottom because they was faced with a lot of trials. And it was down on himself behind that trial. Megan Thee Stallion's song, Cobra, talks about somebody who's so successful has, is having the worst time ever. Something like that. It don't have to be in the same context and how she's articulating it. It's not, it don't have to be the same exact experience, per se. Don't write her off. Keep an open mind. She's a king of swords. She's a woman, and she's a king of swords. So, But that's the point I'm trying to make. Okay? Keep your mind open. Keep an open mind. You could keep going. You know that your, your support is there. It's not that you doubted it. It's just the burden of the trials is great. But so was the trials of the messengers who came before you to deliver. What do you think they went through to deliver that message? You don't think they cried out to their Lord? They hit a lot of rock bottoms trying to establish that message. But they did it. So I say that to say you. Since I say that to say to you. This is why you're showing up as the king of swords, empress, emperor. Okay? The way you step into your power is because you know how to master how you handle your thoughts and emotions on a daily basis. And that makes a more successful person. If you, are, you can know that and could have been practicing that, but that comes with being an entrepreneur. What do you think people who did it before you went through? So you asked to be the expert of it. You got it. It takes work. It takes balance. Yang Yang energy. Well, I like your message. Well, thank you. So you dropped off that twin flame shit because it was serving the. It was being manipulated to be the illusion you were being plotted on, with the eight of swords. You was getting it from all angles, and you ain't understand that. So when you got that dream, it moved you to calmer waters. You became more peaceful. Okay, it re it it, it reconnected you with that peace. Because of who came to talk to you in that dream. Yeah, somebody wanted you out bad and made you feel like you was balanced and you didn't have a, you weren't ground. Somebody wanted to make you ungrounded and uncensored. And they were possessive of your energy. You know, you know how it is. Okay? They wanted to use you for better and for worse. They want the betterment for themselves and make you look bad. Make you be the one to look bad. Now you got a perfect match. You got some reciprocity. Okay? And it probably connects the people you're connecting to now. Serve the purpose of the angel Jabril. Somebody who's God sent. That's the point. With the Ten of Cups. So you went through quite a few different endings. With the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, to the Ten of Cups. It was all mixed in there. Okay? But you wouldn't have been through that if you didn't walk out on blind faith anyway. With the full card and the two of wands. See how she's looking out to her horizon? And it still leads you to the ten of cups. Okay. I'm gonna take I'm gonna stop right there because I gotta do some more work. You guys, and congratulations. And I'm glad you were able to to really make the effort because it's free will at the end of the day. God does not change the condition of the people until they make the effort to change the condition themselves. So you was fighting. You you were. But you were fighting against yourself. You were in conflict with yourself. Okay? Scorpio. Or everybody who's watching this shit. Okay? Bright destiny. Bright purpose. Do I have anything else positive I'm going to say to you? I'm going to keep reminding you. Okay? Making a choice can be hard. You know, as if saying yes to one thing, you have to say no to 15 other things. Remember that when you say no, it's just saying not right now rather than never. So when you initially heard the no, you thought it wasn't, you, you internalized it as a never or it was an attempt to make you feel like it's a never when it was really just a not right now. It was the illusion. It was deception. Chief deceiver or you just, someone playing you against you. Okay, and then and that, that master, the creative way that they did it to execute their plan was to manipulate the soul to soul connection. You know, you're supposed to be traveling this spiritual journey on your own merit and you're going to do it. Protection. Okay, call back your power, cut the cords. Uh, you're unbound. 
You're not unhinged. You're just unbound from people, places, things that were misused to abuse you. And there's calmer waters. Calmer waters. A lot peaceful. A lot more peaceful. Okay? When you perceive it that way, it's all in how you look at it. Okay? You ain't got no, can't nobody walk up on you. Because can't nobody take from you what they didn't help you to get, nor are they really helping you to keep. So you ain't got to straddle the fence, you know? That femininity, that enchanting way about yourself, you know, stems with balance. So you're not coming off like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? And the ancestors, ancestors, angels, you still represent something that is of value that can't nobody take this from you because it's passed down. You know, that's your abundance. Can't nobody take that from you. So you released everybody who's unhinged. You're, you unbound yourself from them. Through shadow, through shadow work, through look tapping into your shadow side. I told you something with the angel Jabril, guardian angel. Everybody don't come to you with the purest of intentions. They may give you give glad tidings to make friends with you, but they want to just steal your gratitude, make you feel like you don't have nothing to be proud of. You know, but love. You see where that love comes from. You see that light is coming from above. Okay, you have the patience of a child. Because you have to be gentle with yourself. God is gentle and he wants, he enters into things in gentleness. People confuse this channel or many channels like it's, the, it's negative. You're, you're, you're doing your own thing. No, I'm not. I talk about God all day long. You dig what I'm saying? You have a bright destiny. Nobody's going to take that from you. You dig? But you can do it all. You know, you can, the plan you have for your life that includes all of your passions that was what you were doing, and you weren't you weren't supposed to be derailed from that. You weren't supposed to feel like, okay, just because you're met with all these no's, the deception is people want you to feel like it will never happen. But it was just a not right now because they had to learn you had you are the expert. I sent this person in there as the expert. That person is the expert. Find a healthy way to deal with it. People are mad at you, but they're really just mad because. They could have had the same opportunity and didn't take it. But for now, you, you do what you can and don't be afraid to make the sac a sacrifice, maybe two, along the way. The sacrifices will be repaid in more ways than you currently know. You, you're not losing anything by dropping the distractions and going for it. The moral of all of this is telling you. It's telling you that. So... Don't let nobody play you against you. When you already got the assignment, you already understand the assignment. So no more twin flame stuff. No more twin soul stuff. If you're really on that spiritual journey and you value it like that, you move in peace. You move the calmer waters. You keep doing it the way you're told to do it. Okay? All that I love is more than all that I fear. Remember, your genuine desire is to serve. Clear the path for me to step into my purpose. He answered it for you. Now go do it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.